Hi guys and welcome back for another virtual Sunday school lesson. So with this new material like we have been talking about each month we have a unit verse and so last week we started a new unit so that means we have a new unit verse which is Psalms 119 verse 34 which says give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all of my heart. So last week we talked about a story named Gideon of a man who followed God's commands for him, followed his laws for him with his whole heart and we were able to see the power of God um, through that story. So this week we actually have a weekly verse and this week's weekly verse is Proverbs 3 7 which says, do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun evil. So as we go through the story for this week, we will see how our universe and our weekly verse correlate um, back to our story. So like each week, I encourage you and I, and I challenge you to find those verses in your Bible. It's good practice um, being able to find verses. Our story for this week is going to be about a man named Samson. And like last week, we talked about a man named Gideon and how he followed God's commands for him and how he was able to experience God's wisdom and power through it. This week, we're going to be talking about a man who didn't quite choose to fully follow God's commands for him and we're going to see what ends up happening in his life because of the result of that. Now we know in our life we do things without an instructional manual if things don't really go all that don't go all that great you know if you try to put a bike together you try to put a dollhouse together without the instruction manual things don't really always turn out great. Well as Christians we have the best instruction manual for life and that's our Bible. We have the greatest instructor for our life, which is God. And so when we follow him and his commands for him, we can fully experience him and, and the wonders that he has for our life. But when we don't, this is going to be a story of example of someone who doesn't fully follow his commands and doesn't fully follow the instructions that he has for him. Now, like I said, our story today is going to be a man about a man named Samson. Now, Samson has something pretty special about him. He is very, very, very strong. Now, I want you to be listening in the story for how he loses his strength and then how he gains it back. The Lord is able to give Samson strength and power through something physically that he has. So I want you to be listening for how he loses his power, he loses his strength, but then how he gains it back. So the verses for our story for this week are Judges chapter 13 through chapter 16. Now, like I said... You know, I don't always, I don't read every single single verse. I just sum up the story. And so we're going to be in chapters 13 through chapter 16. But I do encourage you, if you want to open up your Bible and find Judges chapter 13, that would be awesome. So the Israelites have been conquered at this point by the Philistines. God has sent an angel to visit a couple who would not have children, who could not have children. The angel told the woman that she would have a son. He would save the Israelites from the Philistines. The angel told her to not cut her son's hair because God chose him to be a Nazarite. Now, one thing I will say about this new material, it doesn't have a section to like help me pronounce out words. And so if I mispronounce something again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, when her son was born, she named him Samson, which is the man that we're gonna be talking about today. Samson was chosen by God before he was even born. I think that's a great reminder for us also that like God knows us before we're even born. He knows a plan that we're going to have in our life before we're born. Samson grew and God blessed him. But Samson chose to do things that displeased God. So Samson is already choosing to not follow God's commands for him. So now we're going to see what happens. Sometime later, Samson fell in love with a Philistine woman named Delilah. The Philistine leaders each promised to pay her 1,100 pieces of silver if she could get Samson to tell her where he gets his great strength from. So Delilah went to Samson and asked how could how someone could tie him up so he could be helpless. Samson told her that if he were tied up with seven fresh bowstrings, he would lose his strength. The Philistines brought her seven fresh bowstrings and she tied up Samson with them and then waited in the other room. Samson, she called. The Philistines are here. But Samson easily snapped the bowstrings. I want to see who catches where. Where does he get his strength from? I said it at the beginning of the story. I want to see who remembers. Delilah was angry that Samson had lied to her. Two more times she asked him how he could lose his strength. And each time Samson gave her a different answer. He is lying to her. And each time he, he did not lose his strength. Because we know it's coming from his Delilah became very, very upset. Day after day, she wouldn't stop pleading with Samson to tell her the truth. 
Finally, she wore him down and told her that if he was to cut his hair, his strength would leave him. She knew that that was the truth. She sent a message to the Philistine leaders and they, they came and they gave her the silver that they had promised her. Samson fell asleep and Delilah sent a man to cut off seven braids of Samson's head. When she called to Samson, he woke up and thought he, he had escaped again. He realized he no longer had his strength because his hair had been cut off. Samson was captured by the Philistines and they made him blind. They put him in chains and used him to grind the grain. But Samson's hair began to grow back, as hair, as hair does. The Philistines later were celebrating the capture of Samson. They brought him from the prison to entertain them. They stood Samson between the pillars of the temple. Samson asked a young man to put his hands on the stone pillars so that he could lean on them. What do you think is going to end up happening? His hair is growing back. We know that's why that's why God's giving him his strength. He's putting his hands on these pillars, kind of doing this number. Then Samson called to God to give him strength one more time. Do you think God is going to say no? God gave Samson strength. He answered him just like he always does. He pushed on the pillars with all his might, just like this. Temple collapsed and killed Samson and all the people in it. It's a very crazy story. Um, so we know that going back to the very beginning of the story, God had promised this couple that they were going to have a son, but not to cut his hair because that is where God was going to be able to give him his strength and that he wanted to be set aside and he wanted to be different. Um, we know that's where he got his strength from. The question I asked is, how did he lose his strength? What did it end up happening? He ended up falling in love with the woman that he wasn't supposed to be with. And she ended up cutting off his hair. And that's how he loses. That's how he lost his strength. But how does he gain it back? His hair started growing back. And the moment that he asked God and he pleaded with God to give him strength one more time, God answered him. And I think the story is a great reminder for us that, you know, even though sometimes we may fail God and we may not do things that he wants us to do when we call on him and we ask him for strength he is always quick to answer us he is always going to be there for us to pick us up just like he did samson so did samson always make choices that please god no it's like the story we talked about last week as we have choices we have the option to make a choice we have the option to choose to follow god or not we have the option to choose to follow his commands or not did samson always do that always choose to please God? No. And we saw the result of what happened from that. Choosing sin displeases God. Sin is actions, attitudes, or words that do not please God. Luckily, we have a Savior in the name of Jesus who saves us from those sins and saves us from those bad choices that we may, that we may make. But also, we have a loving God who is willing to pick us up just like he did Samson and is willing to save us and give us that strength just like he did Samson. So how does the story fit back with our weekly verse, which is Proverbs 3, 7, which says, do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun evil. I think the story is a great example of that. It says, do not be wise in your own eyes. I think it's referring back to don't, don't lean on your own brain. You need to be leaning on God and fear the Lord and shun evil. Shun the bad things in the world. Shun the evil things in the world. Um, which means get away from it. Don't be around it. And I think if Samson had made better choices and he was choosing to look through life through God's eyes, and I think the story would have ended up a whole lot different. So how does this story go back to our universe, which is Psalm 119 verse 34, which says, Give me understanding so I may keep your law and obey it with all of my heart. I think if Samson had, I think Samson is an example of not obeying with your whole heart. Last week's story was an example of obeying with your whole heart. This is a story of an example of not obeying with your whole heart and not understanding God's commands for us and not following them, but understanding what happens when we don't. But the story is a great example at the end of how God picks us up when we have those moments where we may fail him. Okay, guys, that is going to conclude this week's story. I will end in prayer, and then I will see you all in next week's video. Let us pray. Lord, thank you so much for another incredible story, Lord, and the um, 
the lessons that we can learn from Samson and just the reminder that we need to follow your commands for us, Lord, and understanding that, you know, what can happen when we don't, Lord. And I just thank you for the lessons that you're teaching us through these new units that we're going through. And Lord, I just pray for the person who's watching this video right now, and I pray that they feel your loving hand upon them, and I pray that they're leaning on you um, through everything in their life, God. In your beautiful name, I pray. Amen. Bye, guys.